The Hoover Dam was constructed on the border between Arizona and Nevada. And this dam then created a lake, Lake Mead, which is the largest reservoir in the United States. At full capacity, this lake has an elevation of more than 1,200 feet, about 1,220 feet at the Hoover Dam, and it holds behind it 9.3 trillion gallons of water. It is enormous. While the level of the lake changes each year, it was near maximum towards the end of the 20th century, uh, reaching its highest level in 1983 and being near the maximum in 1999. You'll notice the white region, what's known as the bathtub ring, along the sides of the canyon. This is where minerals from the lake when it was full have been deposited along the side, showing how high the lake is at its maximum um, elevation and how low uh, it, it currently is because you can see how much of this white uh, material is exposed. In the year 2000, the level of the lake would have essentially covered this bathtub ring. The last 22 years have not only been a drought in the Southwest, they have been a mega drought, or perhaps even more, a climate change causing the aridification of the Southwest, reaching a new norm. In this time, uh, the water levels of Lake Mead have dropped more than 140 feet, and Lake Mead has lost about two-thirds of its volume, currently being only about a third full. The worsening drought and the de declining water levels are ongoing. Not only can you see that there has been a regular trend from the year 2000 to the year 2022 in decreasing the water levels, if one were to look month by month from the year 2020 to the year 2021 to the beginning of 2022, you can observe that there has been a steady decline. And in 2022, the decline has actually be, uh, been faster than anticipated. In other words, the decline in water levels is accelerating.